Hi everybody and a happy Burns Night to you. Now Burns Night, if you don't know, is January 25th and what it commemorates is the birthday of poet laureate Robert Burns of Scotland. Now typically what you do on Burns Night is you have Burns Supper and Burns Supper usually consists of haggis. So you have haggis. Now if you're not familiar with what haggis is, haggis is lamb organs that are stuffed into a lamb stomach along with usually like oats or something along those lines, maybe some barley, uh, onion, black pepper. Uh, it's stuffed into the lamb stomach and then it's steamed. And then for the burn supper, somebody reads the address to the haggis. And while they ad read the address to the haggis, they slice the haggis open and everybody eats the haggis. Now, typically it's served with what they call tatties and neeps. Now, tatties and neeps are potatoes and turnips. They're usually in mashed form. So we've done Burns Night Suppers in the past. We've done different episodes with Burns Night Suppers. And I decided I wanted to do something different this year. And I was thinking, what if Robert Burns was born, born today? What would, what would he, you know, what would he eat? Or what would you eat on a Burns Supper? And I thought, how about a haggis burger? So in order to make the haggis burger, I had to do things that were from Scotland. I wanted to keep this Scottish, so I, you know, I, I couldn't vary from this at all. Uh, the burger or sell the patty itself had to be made out from out of haggis. I didn't want to add ground lamb to that, although I, you know I could have; it would have held, held together better. So what I did was, instead of you know the obvious thing to do would be to take the turnips and the potatoes and make fries out of that and serve that with it. But I decided to go a different route. So what I did was on the bottom, uh, well, actually, let's start at the top. So the top is this bread that I made, and this is called bannock. And bannock is a Scottish bread. It's more like actually an oat cake than a bread. It uses oatmeal. Now, it's not like a bowl of oatmeal in that terms. It's, it's more like oatmeal is like cornmeal, so it's ground oats. And basically, it's pretty simple, the recipe. So you make it in a frying pan. You can make it in the oven if you want to. It's oatmeal or oat flour, regular flour, uh, baking soda, salt, and buttermilk. And there's some variations, other things, but it's very simple. When you make it, so here's one that I made. And when you make it, you put four scores in there because you break apart, you break that apart. I didn't in this case because I wanted to slice one in half and use it as the bun. So essentially what I did. So the bun is essentially a Scottish Bannock. Now, Robert Burns also mentions Bannock in one of his poems. It was in 1794 in his poem, Bannock's O Bear Meal. I'm not going to read it to you. My Scottish accent is terrible, um, but I will put a link at the end of it where you can see what the uh, where that poem came from. Now, the address to the haggis is from 1786, uh, and then that, that poem also was from Robert Burns. So, we started with the bannock on the bottom, cut it in half, put it on the bottom, and then we put the haggis patty on top of it. And on the haggis patty, I decided to use cheese. Now, the cheese that I opted for is a cheddar. I got this at Trader Joe's. It's a cheddar with scotch bonnet in it. Now, scotch bonnet is not from Scotland. It's just called scotch bonnet. I think it's a variation of habanero. It's pretty hot on the Scoville scale, but it had the word scotch in it, so I decided I was gonna use that. And cheddar is from the UK anyway, so cheddar, cheddar was a fine cheese as a choice for this. On top of that, I have, I don't know if I wanna really call it a patty. Essentially what, it, what I did was I made a latka with the potatoes and the turnips. So um, I used um, eggs and breadcrumbs to bind it. I actually used panko breadcrumbs. That might be cheating a little bit, but you know, whatever. Uh, and then I fried that. And then on top of that, I have, I normally I'll call it a sauce, but the topping is um, a mixture of apple, onions, butter, honey, and then I took some scotch, put that on top of that, lit that on fire, let that burn off, and that's what's on top of that. So that's a, a, that's a fine looking burger. I don't know how it's gonna taste, but it looks, it looks really good. And then of course, the drink that you have with it is a, a wee dram of scotch. This is Glenn Livett. It's all right. Okay, so let's put the top back on here. Oh my God, it looks so good. Now the thing about the haggis is, uh, it's it's kind of loosely packed. Uh, there's really no way to, to you know pack it tightly. So on the grill, it kind of like falls apart a little bit when you try to take it off. So I'm I have a feeling it might fall out of the sandwich, but we're gonna we're gonna try our best not to have that happen. So here we go, haggis with Scotch bonnet cheddar with onion and apple in butter, honey, and scotch, and a potato and turnip latka on the top of it.
Here we go. Wow, that's a lot. So now, our tatties and neeps are in the burger. Oh. Really nice flavor on that cheddar. Scotch bonnet should bring some heat. It doesn't seem really hot. Maybe it's subdued with everybody else. And again, maybe haggis isn't your thing. Because again, haggis is made from um, sheep organs uh, stuffed into a lamb's stomach. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now that this is absolutely delicious. It's funny, I scored the bannock symbolically, but I actually broke apart into a section. Now it's really good. Haggis is a very earthy thing. The, the cheese complements it. There's a the sweetness from the honey and the apples with the onion and the scotch, that flavor of the scotch. And then the texture of the potatoes and the turnip in the latte, that's outstanding. So this is probably one of the best hybrids that I made for Burns Night. I'll have this episode up early. If you wanna copy my recipe, I don't really have, I mean, it's not too much to measure out. I'll try to put a recipe down at the bottom of that, but maybe that's something that you can put together for your Burns Night Supper. I'll also put a link at the end to the address to a haggis so that you can listen to that while you're eating this. And um, it's a it's a fine way to celebrate Burns Night. So give it a shot. If you're in the United States and there's a English pub near you or a British pub near you, uh, see if they have like a little grocery next to it and you could probably get the haggis. Uh, sometimes it's fro in frozen form and then other times uh, you can get it in a can. Either way, you're getting um, essentially the same thing. The thing to keep in mind is in the United States, one of the one of the sheep organs that aren't in there is lungs, because it's illegal to sell that in the United States, but you're gonna get the same effect. It's gonna be really good. Give it a shot, but be careful because it's crazy out there. Please take care of yourselves, take care of others, and we'll see you soon. Happy Burns Night. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below and be sure to subscribe by clicking on the trippy food icon right here. Glad you could make it and we hope to see you again soon.